Atletico Madrid did not. They were home against Elche, get a 3-1 win, a couple goals for Luis Suarez, a goal from a very dubious penalty as well for Diego Costa. Uh, Ale, Atletico Madrid definitely needed these three points after the loss against Real Madrid. Uh, they got the three points, but what about the performance? Not great. But you, you know what's interesting about this team is that they, they simply cannot, I, I think, succeed by being comfortable. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it is the personality of Simeone. I don't know if it is this, the personality within the team. That being comfortable is not a strength of theirs. So winning a game 3 nothing, 4 nothing, it doesn't quite work for them. It, it's got to be a little bit of a struggle. So at 2 nothing, you think, okay, here we go. No problems, no issues. Luis Suarez scoring a couple of goals. That's important for Atletico Madrid. And yet, it's a little bit of a struggle. And Nel check it back into the game, and it's 2-1. And now Oblak is having to come up with a save here and there. And it was in the best uh, moment of Elche where Diego Costa draws his penalty that, well, you call it uh, dubious. Yeah, yeah, no penalty. However, somehow VAR uh, upholds the decision of the referee. And then they go on and win 3-1. It's an important three points just to kind of generate momentum going forward. But it's not comfortable for Atletico Madrid. And I think, in some ways, they kind of like it that way. Hmm. Uh, Jules, let's leave the penalty discussion just for another second. Just quickly on the Atletico Madrid performance. We're just talking about Barcelona, who's starting Martin Braithwaite as their number nine. Man, they could use a number nine. A guy that scores two goals. First, first time since November 7th. Uh, a big performance for Suarez and Atleti. Yeah, it was big. It was big for Suarez to come up with those two goals. Uh, the typical Suarez goal, if, if you want, because he's got that sense for goal, which is incredible. The second one, the ball from Carrasco, is, is fantastic. But, but Suarez is there again, you know, to, to, to score it. And uh, he can't run like before. He cannot make the, he can't use, use his, the movement or make the movement like he used to before. The runs are not the same. And, and that would never be the case because he's got dodgy knees and, and he's getting older and, and, and all of that. However, again, the, the sense of goal, the, the, the ability to be in the right place at the right time all the time to be so clinical. You know, I didn't think he would do that well, I have to be honest. And I said it when he signed. I just didn't think that he still had that in him in a way and that Atleti could evolve in a team that can provide goals for him like that because... If you can put those balls in for Luis Suarez, you know he's going to be there. And you know he's going to score you 15, 20 goals a season, even if he's only half fit and on one leg. Mm. And I thought today was the perfect example of what you can do if you have Luis Suarez as a, as a striker. And if you've got people who can provide balls like Carrasco on the second one. Uh, Jules, this Diego Costa penalty. Uh, I, don't know what, I don't know what you saw. I, I didn't see any contact. I saw like a total dive. I, I'm, I'm okay with the center ref getting fooled. That, that's happened a million times before. But this is... Where was, where was VAR? I want to believe that maybe there's a handball bef before, before the dive from, from, from Diego Costa. There's a handball from the Elche defender who is like sort of behind Diego Costa with his hand a bit. I, I don't know. That's the only thing I can <laughs> see and I've watched it so many times today. Otherwise, it's impossible that they give that a penalty when there's clearly no contact. And you don't even need VAR. You, we saw it in front of the television. So there's no need for VAR to see there's no contact. But maybe, I, I'm just thinking that's the only thing I can see is that maybe the handball that the defender touches the ball before he goes on to Diego Costa and the dive. I, I don't know. Apart from that, I, it's, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> Ale, I don't know if there's a uh, ethics class at the Moreno Diving School. Uh, do you have a problem uh -huh. with, with what Diego Costa did? Is it, is it cheap? <laughs> is it dirty? Or is it fair game? <laughs> it's part of the game. It's not the best part of the game. It's not the prettiest part of the game. It's not the nicest nor the most ethical part of the game. But it's part of the game, and that's where VAR can come in and say, yeah, mm -mm, I don't think so. And yet, somehow, somehow, VAR says, you know what? Yeah, no, no problem here. No issues here. Yeah, penalty. Go on with it. It is 100% a dive, and let me tell you, I speak with knowledge on the matter. I know a dive when I see one, and that was... 100% a dive. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.